hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not to subscribe please subscribe and hit the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss that is complete the following table with appropriate entries wherever possible so here they are given cost price and expenses cost price is 750 rupees and expenses 50 rupees so what is selling price profit they are given then profit the profit percentage so first one what they are asked is 750 and expenses cost price will be 750 then expenses will be 50 rupees so what is the cost price so cost price will be equal to 750 rupees then what is expenses so expenses will be rupees 50 rupees that is the argument cost price will be 750 expenses will be 50 rupees and again they given profit so profit will be equal to what is the profit is 80 rupees so profit is equals to 80 rupees we have to find selling price and what is profit percentage so let's start our what is the profit profit is equal p is equal to selling price minus cost price if the selling price more than cost price then only we will get profit so here what is the cost price so cost price is 750 and expenses is uh, 50 rupees so for that we need to add total so 750 plus 50 this is called cost price so total cost price will be equal to expenses also will be added to in that so what is that is 800 so 800 so, so what is selling price so selling price we have to find so what is the profit 80 rupees then what is cost price 800 then selling price will be equal to 80 plus 800 so what is that 880 rupees so selling price will be equal to 880 rupees then what is there again asked so what they are asked is profit percentage so profit percentage means as usual we will get profit by always you will get cost price into 100 so what is profit profit will be equal to 80 then what is cost price 800 then year 100 so this is profit percentage so let's take 100 ones are 100 eights are. then 80 by 8 then 8 ones are 8 tens are. then what you'll get 10 percentage so profit percentage profit percentage will be equal to 10 percentage thanks for watching please subscribe so here our second one is in eighth question cost price they are given 4500 and expenses they are given 500 so what is cost price so cost price will be so let's take cost price will be equal to 4500 then expenses will be equal to 500 then again what they are given is so again last will be 1000 so last will be equal to 1000 so what they are given to us to find selling price and last percentage so last value they are given for that last percentage so here the first one is 880 and profit percentage is 10 so we have to find selling price and last percentage so selling price is equal to what and last percentage is equal to what so here what is last formula so last will be equal to that is last will be equal to if cost price is more than selling price then you will get loss so here cost price minus selling price so cost price is what if you add both total cost price will be equal to total cost price will be equal to 4500 plus 500 then what you will get 5000 we will get so this is total cost price so cost price will be equal to 5000 minus selling price we have to find then last we know what is that thousand so thousand five equal to five thousand minus sp then this sp if you shift left side then it will become thousand plus sp that will be equal to five thousands then sp will be equal to five thousands minus thousand then what you'll get four thousand rupees so what is the selling price? 4000 rupees. Then what is the 
uh, selling price is 4000 rupees and what is the cash price so here 5 so what is the last percentage so let's take we have to find we are last thousand we are given so last percentage will be equal to always right class by always you will get denominator cost price for the profit percentage or cost price cost price for the last percentage cost price for the profit percentage into 100 so what is last week no? so that is thousand by what is the cost price totally five thousands into 100 so here two zeros two zeros will going to cancel then here thousand by fifty so here zero zero cancel then we will get five ones are five twos are ten then twenty so what is last percentage therefore last percentage will be equal to twenty percentage then we are going to write what is cost price selling price will be equal to so selling price will be equal to four thousands then what is the last percentage 20 percentage like that we need to calculate here our third one is what is that for cost price will be for six thousands and expenses will be four thousand then what is the selling price 60 60 thousands so what is cost price so cost price will be equal to 46 thousands then what is expenses so expenses will be equal to 4 thousands so expenses will be equal to 4 thousands then what is selling price 60 thousands so SP will be equal to 60 thousands then we should know one thing expenses whatever we are keeping on any item that is all will come under cost price so that is total cost price will be equal to 46 thousands plus 4 thousands that will be equal to 50 thousands so that is cost price so we have to find last profit and last percentage profit percentage so here uh, what they are given so here we need to calculate last percentage and profit percentage and so here let's take last will be equal to CP minus SP then what is profit so profit will be equal to SP minus CP so that one we have to calculate so let's take selling price we know 60,000 and last cash price we know 50,000 so let's take profit profit will be equal to selling price is 60,000 minus cost price will be 50 thousands then what you will get profit 10 thousands so 10 thousand rupees is a profit then what is last cost price is 50 thousands minus selling price will be 60 thousands so it will be minus 10 thousands we will get why right? because 60 before minus is there which is a bigger number subtraction we have to take so we are getting positive value means we will get profit percentage so let's find out what is profit percentage so profit percentage means profit by cost price into 100 so what is profit here the profit will be equal to 10 thousands by what is the cost price 50 thousands into 100 so this 200 this two so here 10 thousands by 500 so let's take 10 thousands by 500 this two zeros two zeros will going to cancel then 100 by 5 five ones are then five twos are zeros that is 20 percentage so this is profit percentage let's find last percentage so last by cost points going to 100 so what is last here the last will be equal to uh, minus 10,000 we are getting by cost price will be 50,000 into 100 so this two zeros two zeros are going to cancel here two zeros here two zeros are going to cancel minus 100 by 5 that is minus 20 percentage minus percentage we are getting means in loss that is if you getting loss as negative then this meaning is we are getting indirectly profit so this is profit value 
So last minus means so there is no loss. So here minus twenty minus twenty percent is getting means here indirectly we are getting profit percentage that is twenty percentage. So what is that values here? The values are profit will be equal to ten thousands. Then there is no loss. That is minus values we are getting profit percentage is twenty percentage. There is no last percentage or negative we are getting thanks for watching please subscribe so our fourth one is what is that they are given cost price and expenses 350 rupees then 12 percentage profit percentage they are given so what is the cost price here the cost price will be equal to so let's take cost price will be equal to cp 300 then expenses will be equal to let's take expenses as e 50 rupees then what is profit percentage is 12 percentage so that is our values and we have to find the selling price profit so selling price and profit so what is selling price we have to calculate then what is profit also we have to calculate so if we, here if you add what you will get total cost price we will get so this cost price will be equal to 300 plus 50 expenses also will be included this is 350 rupees so what is my formula of profit selling price minus cost price selling price minus cost price profit we don't know but profit percentage we know the profit percentage will be equal to profit by cost price into 100 so what is profit percentage 12 percentage that is profit is SP minus CP by CP into 100. So what you can do here is, so SP we don't know that is SP is equal to SP minus. So what is CP here cost price? 350 by 350 into 100 will be equal to 12. So here 1010 0, 0 will going to cancel. Then SP minus 5 into 10 will be equal to 12 so sp minus 350 into 10 will be equal to 12 into 35 then what you can do here is so sp minus 350 will be equal to 12 into 35 by 10 so 12 into 35 what is that so 12 into 35 will be equal to sp minus 350 will be equal to 420 by 10 so 10 ones are 10 42 are that is sp mine equal to 42 plus 350 that is 392 that is sp so 392 then what is the profit the profit will be equal to sp minus cp so 392 minus cp will be equal to what is that 350 so what is profit will be equal to 350 minus 42 that is 42 rupees is a profit so what is the selling price so selling price is 392 so selling price will be equal to 392 then profit will be equal to 42 percentage thanks for watching please subscribe so our fifth one in eighth question is they are given cost price and expenses as 330 and 20 rupees. So what is total cost price? So total cost price means we have to include that expenses to the cost price. So that is 350 rupees. Then last percentage they are given we have to find selling price, loss and profit percentage. So how to find this? So selling price you can calculate from the last percentage and last calculated from the cost price selling price and profit are also seen as above so what is last percentage will be equal to last by cost price into 100 so last percentage we are they are given 10 last will be equal to cost price minus cp sp by cp into 100 so here you can calculate like capitals that is cp minus sp by cp so what is meant by CP? So here 10 will be equal to CP is what? 350 minus SP by 350 into 100. 
So here 1010 will go to cancel. Then what you can take here is 350 minus SP into 10 by 35. That is 10 into 35. That will be equal to 350 minus SP will be equal to 10 into 35 by 10. So 10, 10 will go into cancel. That will be equal to 350 minus SP that will be equal to 35. Then what you can do here is 350 minus 35 will be equal to SP. So 350 minus. So what is meant by what is selling price? So what is the price is 335 means so 315. So 315 will get 315 is selling price. Then what is the last percentage? So last will be equal to so let's take last will be equal to CP minus SP. So what is CP here? 350 minus so SP will be 305. So what you'll get? So 350 minus 315, you will get 35 rupees. So last will be 35. Then what is meant by profit percentage? That will be profit by. So profit percentage will be equal to. So profit percentage will be equal to profit by cost price into 100. So profit percentage that is SP minus CP by CP into 100. So here SP is what? So selling price will be is equals to selling price is 315. So 315. Then what is the cost price? So cost price will be equal to we will get 300 and so cost price will be equal to what is that? 350. So 350 by cost price is so 350 350 into 100. Then what you'll get minus 35 by 350 into 100. So here 0 0 cancel 35 35. So minus 10 percentage. So profit is minus 10 percentage means as usual you can say this is last percentage. So like that we need to calculate. Thanks for watching. Please press subscribe.